Hello everyone and welcome back to day 80 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. So far, we have explored two different types of social login options into our app. But why stop at two? Today, we will be looking into another most widely used social platforms to log in, Facebook. Facebook is as popular as LinkedIn, making it a go-to option for millions of users. So, without wasting any time, Let's explore how do we add Facebook login into our app. So, like we did for Google and LinkedIn, we'll have to replicate the same process. So, I'll use this button, create a copy, I'll search for Facebook, I'll hit the icon and register with Facebook, right? We'll add workflow, we'll search for social, which will give us sign up login with social network and we have to select facebook which we don't have as of now so we'll go to plugins we'll search for facebook select the first one which is allowing you to add login or register with facebook install this it'll ask you for app id app secret this is for live and similarly for dev as well so to create this like we did in google and uh, linkedin we'll have to go to developers.facebook.com click on my app if you have created any apps that will be shown here click on create app it'll ask you for the name and we can give it as thousand days challenge uh, app contact email abcd with uh, 7.com click on next it'll ask you what is this app meant for we need authenticate and request data from users with Facebook login. So select that and click on next. It'll ask you which business do you want this app to be associated to. I'll click on uh, Red 7 and click on next. Now it says we need to do business verification and app review before we can publish this app so that other users can start using their Facebook account to register on our platform. Right, so I'll click on go to dashboard. It will take us to this particular customization page. Click on this one and then we will add this because we also need to uh, get the email from the user. And once both of this is added, okay, this was added by default. We'll go to settings. We can add the redirect URI to check. But before we do that, we'll have to scroll down and valid OAuth redirect URIs. So we can go to the register page. Click on preview, copy this URL from here, paste it, click on enter, paste it again, remove the debug mode equals to true, click on enter again, scroll down and we can click on save changes. Once you do this, you can now go here and check if the URL is working fine or not by adding the URL and click on check URI. It says this is a valid redirect URI for this application. Go to quick start. And select web you can give the site url which can be until here without any page click on save click on continue there is some code that you get which we are not using because we want to use no code solution click on next scroll down click on next click on next and then click on back once this is done go to app settings basics we have got the app id and app secret but before we can use that, we need to add a few details like privacy policy URL, uh, terms of service URL, and app deletion uh, URL, app icon, and category. So I've already created a page with uh, privacy. I'll go to preview, copy this, come back, paste this without debug mode equal to two. Likewise, I've done for terms. I'll go to the page, review, copy the link, paste it over here. I've done for data deletion as well. So I'll click on preview. I'll get this link. I'll add it over here. Now, this particular thing will not work because Facebook tries to call this particular page. And if we go to incognito mode, we can see that it is asking us for username and password because we are in the agency plan right now and because of which this will give some error but we can still go ahead and test it out right so i'll go to category as education and i'll add an icon which is this one and then we'll click on save changes once we do that 
Let's take the app ID from here. Let's go to plugins and we can add the app ID here. And also in the dev version, let's click on show, copy the secret, paste that over here and over here. One thing to remember is we have to change the redirect URL once the domain is linked to our app, right? So now I've added this one. Let's go to workflow. Let's go back to the register page and do the workflow where we have the sign up login with social network. You can select Facebook and we want to make changes to thing that is current user. And this time it is the name, which is coming from current user, Facebook, first name. We can also use the last name and the file picture, which is again, current user, Facebook, the file picture, right? Once this is done, we want to navigate them to the tweet page, like we did the previous. Now let's click on preview. This will take us to the register page. Click on register with Facebook. It will basically tell us that we have not submitted for uh, login review because it's still in the test version. Submit for review now or learn more. The name of the app is Thousand Days Challenge and it's also giving us the logo that we gave here. And it's also showing us what are the details that we will be able to fetch from this app. Name, profile picture, email address, right? Click on continue as Ritesh or if you want to use other account, you can use that option. And once that is done, it will redirect it to this particular page and then to read page. Now, if I go back to the data, we can see that a new account has been created with this email ID, which is my uh, personal email ID, which I've used for uh, Facebook. And that's how you can add register with Facebook on your bubble account. With that, we have explored three different social logins, which can be added onto our app. We have built a feature for every individual. We have built a feature which goes well with every individual. Whether they prefer Google for convenience, LinkedIn for professionalism, or Facebook for familiarity. More choices means a smoother and more accessible experience for our users. Our app is coming out nicely, but we're not stopping it here. There's a lot more to come in the next sessions. Till then, Stay curious, keep building and I will see you in the next one.